Hey guys, welcome to my channel. For this video, I want to be talking about how to get back to your instrument. Say you haven't been playing the piano for like 10, 20 years and you want to get back. How do you do that? If that's what you're looking for, stay tuned. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you all the details. Hey guys, today I want to share with you uh, a little bit of my story and that's probably gonna help you if you haven't been playing the piano for say 10 years and suddenly you want to get back because you get inspired, you see someone play online and this is really uncomfortable, all these spikes are killing me. Like it, it's happened to many people who watch me playing on Periscope, they say angels after watching you I want to get back to playing the piano and they tell me I haven't been playing for 10, 20 years and I didn't play the piano for many years when I moved to the States because I lived in Argentina say in 2000, from 2005 to 2009 more or less I didn't have a piano and then I just didn't have enough time to practice so it was really difficult for me to get back to play the piano because when, when, I, when I stopped playing in Argentina just when I moved here I was able to play a lot like I was playing Beethoven, like the really advanced sonatas and Brahms and all that kind of stuff, Chopin. And then I came here after four years and my fingers were like, you know, I wasn't able to play anything. And I'm not going to say it was sad because it's what I chose at the moment, right? I wasn't motivated to be playing and it is what it is. But then I was able to slowly, very slowly, get back to play the piano. But I think, looking back, I think I could have made it much better if I had followed the, the things I did in the last two years, actually. So if you're getting back to the piano or whatever instrument it is that you're playing, um, what I would suggest is that you go back to the beginning. You don't need to go to the very, very beginning, but to something that has a little bit of challenge already, but that you can tackle it within a couple of hours or maybe days. So you have to start slowly, but you have to do it consistently. Go back to your old notes start practicing either hand-on exercises like if you're serious and you say like uh, like oh, well, I was serious when I decided to get back to play the piano there was a moment where I said okay angels I really want to be able to play um, not necessarily like before because I don't have as many hours because I'm a mom and I have family and I'm running a house but with two hours a day what's the best I can do so you gotta keep a real like a realistic plan how many hours a day are you gonna dedicate and you need to dedicate hours every day Okay, and, and this is if you're serious, if you're taking it as a hobby, and that's totally fine because sometimes some weeks I'm like, you know what, this is hot, this is a hobby, and some months I'm like, no, angels, this has to be serious, so more training, more technique, la la la. So if you're taking it seriously, you need to do technique to warm up your fingers and keep them, you know, flexible, agile, and dexterous. Dexterous, I doesn't love that word. Um, even this week, I haven't practiced the Beethoven sonata I was doing, and now that I. You know, you need to do it every day. You really notice a huge difference when you don't do your exercises. So if you're trying to get back to play the piano, choose a routine that you can do every week, okay? And allocate a third of the time, or maybe at least if you're going to be playing for an hour, 10 minutes to exercises. From Hannon to scales to arpeggios, you can choose a chromatic scale. That's gonna take you time, like it. Then you start splitting it up. You can split it up in the middle. You know, you can do arpeggios, you can do turning exercises. I actually have a video on warm up exercises. I'm sorry, I'm scratching my head now. It's like I'm thinking and I'm scratching my head. Um, so, allocate some time to finger dexterity and technique. Then you need to go back to the old pieces that you were playing before because you know it, you're not gonna be wasting time reading unless you tell me that you hate your old repertoire and you wanna grab new songs and that's actually what inspired you. You want to play the songs, for example, I play on Periscope, like Nothing Else Matters or Maiden or Comfortably Numb. So you're watching a YouTube tutorial and you're doing that, that's perfectly fine. And then what I would also recommend doing is Playing online. Playing online, my experience on Bandhab is what actually brought me back to music. Playing online, playing with other people, chatting with other people, making friends all over the world, recording yourself, watching a recording, seeing how long it takes you to prepare a song from scratch, 
to watch your videos, to hear the sound quality, hear your expression. All of that is gonna get you super trained and you're gonna be so motivated to play and to record just to read the comments on the next day after you submit the tracks that you're gonna be able to learn two new songs every week like that, okay? So I think that playing on a website like bandhub.com, they don't sponsor me. I know the owner actually, he's Argentine, he's in, he lives in New York, he's a great guy, Pablo. But I really love the website because it brought me back to music. So I'm always speaking flowers about them, is that a phrase? Um, so again, you can check them, it's bandhub.com, I'm gonna include a link here. And you can record online, create collaborations with other people, and if you're not looking for classical music but covers, that's definitely the place. If you're looking for classical music, you can record yourself at home. But you're not going to have the motivation of receiving comments or support. Even if you even if you belong to communities like the Reddit communities for pianists, comments there are pretty aggressive. I mean, I, I've been in those communities and they were like, ugh, you suck. You know, like, I don't know, maybe I was in the wrong piano community there, but I didn't have the best experience on Reddit, so I wouldn't suggest you to go there. But if you're looking for rock covers and you're going to get back to music playing rock covers, definitely join Bandhub, start recording online and hang out with other people that's going to get you motivated, befriend them on Facebook, you're going to see their wall, you know, you're going to be sharing interests and you're, you're going to want to show them how much better you can do every week. And that's actually what keeps you motivated to do because the key to anything, to anything you do in life is motivation. Okay? So... If you're motivated to do absolutely anything, you're gonna do it. And if you're not the best at it, at least you're gonna give your best because you're gonna be motivated. So that's the key. So if you're planning on getting back to playing the piano, definitely uh, pick a routine that you can stick to for every week. How many hours can you play every week, every day? From those hours, a third or 25% of the time dedicate to technique at least for the first month or for the first weeks. After three weeks more or less, you can allocate less technique to your routine because your fingers are already gonna be faster and more agile. And go back to either the old pieces you were playing before, not necessarily the first ones, but something that's a little bit challenging and that you already know at least to play by ear or you can read the sheet music and you can pick it up quite, you know, fairly quickly. And if you're looking at doing rock covers, remember, definitely go to like an online collaboration website and start playing with other people. And that's gonna keep you motivated and you're gonna be playing more and more and more. I wouldn't even join a band. At this point, I would say just play online, you know, get the hang of it, start memorizing songs, playing more songs, and that's how you're gonna get back to the instrument. After three weeks, if you succeed doing three weeks, you're back and that's it. So write down on, on the calendar, the Angels Piano Music Challenge, three weeks. After the third week, if you're still playing, you're back on track, okay? You can follow me in all of these social media links. I'm pasting here just the images, but you can follow me. You can click on, on the links in the description area. If this is the first time you watch me, remember you can subscribe right here. And I would definitely recommend you to follow me on Periscope. You can search Angels Piano or at Angels Love Keys. And I'm playing the piano live there every Tuesday and Saturday. I'm also be going, be going to be doing lives here on YouTube. And I also do lives on Instagram. On Instagram, I'm just Angels Piano. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful week. Bye, guys. See ya.